Hey everyone, this is Jackie Cooper with Crypto Mom 2. And for those that are on the video side, you're going to see my Bitcoin Cinderella cap, which I just created in my store, which um, I will have the link in the um, in the blog below. So that way you can um, get a copy of the Bitcoin Cinderella in Spanish or English. I definitely want you guys to, um, to share information about the story. I wrote the story so that way families can learn more about what's going on in the blockchain with their, with their kids of all ages. I've been talking to families and also to teenagers and I'm amazed at their awareness of what's going on, uh, but only in a limited way. And so that's why I created the Bitcoin Cinderella series. But um, today it's not about the book uh, per se, it's about what's going on in the markets. And I'm gonna try to do the postings daily, um, but again, I might um, not be able to. For example, you know, last week I was in Dubai and I was touring, um, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and the whole countryside um, with some friends of mine. And it was a wonderful experience. And I've been blogging about that. And uh, you guys can follow along on my blogs. I know I'm going to go back to Dubai. It was a great time. I learned a lot. And I met some wonderful people. And there's a lot of business to be had in all around the world. Um, but today, I'm going to actually go back over. And I want to talk to you about something I saw on Coindesk on the state of crypto. And I might be reading a little bit about this, but I want to make sure that everyone who's in my um, community has awareness because when this first happened a few, um, about a month or a few weeks ago, when Celsius was unable to honor the um, commitments that it has for its customers, it was a, a flag to me because of the fact that I'm very pro cryptocurrency, pro Bitcoin um, and the blockchain community. But all of a sudden I realized that what was going on with Celsius and platforms is something that um, I had been cautioning and talking to people about, uh, maybe not directly on the show, but I it became a concern to me because one of the reasons why blockchain, Bitcoin, peer-to-peer -peer was created is so that way the people, individuals had control over their finances. And all of a sudden it was like a wake up call. Celsius and it was no different when they stopped allowing people to pull um, their crypto out than traditional banks. Um, and so again, um, one of the posts that happened uh, this week on, um, on Coindesk talks about how two Bitcoin exchange traded funds, ETFs, applications were denied last week. And um, the question for this writer who was uh, on Coindesk is whether we've learned anything about these rejections and, um, and why it mattered according to this writer was that Celsius halted withdrawals last month, uh, becoming the first of several companies to do amidst um, you know, so amid the rapidly escalating bear market cycle and um, what they what he or she continued to write about is that um, Celsius is just an, another company not being able to make the customers whole without significant assistance. And so um, they break it down. And so what I'm seeing here, and this is why I wanted to share it. Uh, because you guys might not be on the, the thread or the feed that I get. Um, Jason Stone, key FIS proprietor, basically claimed that Celsius cannot meet all of its financial obligations. It took out a $1 billion loan from a stable coin issuer, Tether, and is using new customer funds to pay back old customers. What's with this? Pe borrowing to pay back? That's not good financial sense. Um, so basically the allegations in short are KeyFi and Celsius entered into what is described as an informal agreement wherein KeyFi would act as the investment manager for Celsius using Celsius's customer funds. Stone alleged that he found that Celsius, Celsius sorry, lacked basic security controls. Now, I do wanna put a little note here I've recently become a cryptocurrency investigator. I am certified as that. And so if, if there are individuals, law firms, banks, businesses that need assistance, 
reach out to me because I will be able to talk to you about my consulting on that side. But what they were talking about is Celsius lacks some basic security controls. The company formalized the agreement at the end of 2020. Um, under the agreement, Stone would receive 50% of the net profits from Celsius's actions through 2022. Um, from the filings, at this again, I'm reading from um, the, 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 the article that I'm reading, Stone also learned of multiple incidences where defendants' failure to perform basic accounting endangered customer funds. One such example included Celsius improperly accounting for certain payments owed to customers, resulting in a $200 million liability. The company did not even understand how or why it owed. According to Stone, Celsius also failed to properly hedge against market volatility. So a paper profit in the US dollars may not have been actually a profit once converted into customer crypto. The suit was filed by the Roche Friedman Law Firm. And again, some pretty explosive allegations. According to this article, the suit does note that Celsius's halting of withdrawals from last month was a concerning issue. On June 12, 2022, these issues, which plaintiff identified in March 2021, had now caused harm not only to the plaintiff, but hundreds of thousands of people who use defendant's platform. As defendants are now refusing to honor requests by its customers to withdraw the assets they deposited and trusted to the defendants. As Celsius lost funding, the company allegedly went to great lengths to continue paying off existing customers, including borrowing $1 billion from Tether. Faced with the liquidity crisis, Celsius began to offer double-digit interest rates in order to lure new depositors whose funds were used to repay earlier depositors and creditors. Thus, while Celsius continued to market itself as transparent and well-capitalized, it really had become, um, according to the suit, a Ponzi scheme. Even as the suit unfolds, it's noteworthy, it's worth noting rather that Celsius has spent the last few weeks paying off loans to various decentralized finance or DeFi applications, including $140 million to Maker, giving it access to $440 million in collateral, Ave uh, gave giving it $950 million and others. Uh, the questions still remain unanswered. Um, again, um, we're going to have to see, you know, what happens with that. The other very important thing that is in this stream of article that I want to read and share with you is it's saying what what's in an FDIC. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, is a regulator in the U.S. tasked in the United States tasked with ensuring the soundness and safety of banks and savings associations. If a bank fails, the FDIC is the regulator that will ensure customer deposits up to $250,000. Note that if it, a bank or savings association fails, if a bank client fails and that client happens to store customer funds on the bank, that does not mean that the customer funds are necessarily pro protected. In fact, they're not. Whatever is in the bank account is. So again, they're continuing. I'm continuing to read this. Voyager Digital is probably in trouble. The company which filed for bankruptcy protection is facing an FDIC probe of some sort amid allegations it misled would-be customers about just how insured their funds were. The funds were not protected. On Monday, Voyager published a blog post clarifying that what the FDC insurance means is you're covered in the event of a metropolitan commercial bank's failure up to a maximum of $250,000 per customer. Needless to say, Metropolitan Commercial Bank has so far shown no cause for concern that it's about to collapse, according to this article. Meanwhile, Voyager itself detailed what it has left in terms of funds. Voyager has said it has $110 million in cash, $350 million in cash at Metropolitan Com Commercial Bank, $1.3 billion in crypto, $650 million in three arrows capital, owed debt. 3AC is dealing with its own bankruptcy lawsuit, so who knows what the $650 million may be available. So what I'm saying here is that you have to do your research. Just because you are investing on a platform like Celsius or anyone else, does not mean that you will have access to the crypto that you have 
invested in. The only way that you can have control over the crypto is for you to move that crypto to a cold wallet. If you need help or assistance, or if you have questions, reach out to me. Again, if you are tracing cryptocurrency and you need investigation to find out where that cryptocurrency has gone in case you've had some issues in that area, I'm now starting out in that area and I'm happy to help you. Reach out to me. My name is Jackie Cooper. I'm Crypto Mom 2. I have a consulting company and I'm here to help you because one of the things that I've known as a lawyer and as an educator, it's important to both research, but also be proactive. And that's why I'm here. So again, Bitcoin Cinderella, it's in Spanish uh, and it's available. So that way you can start your journey uh, and learn more. It's important to educate both the youth as well as those that are older youth like myself. Uh, so I know I'm talking fast, but I wanna get a lot out in just a few minutes of time. Stay tuned, subscribe. Thank you for being on. And I look forward to sharing some more positive information about the cryptocurrency markets as we go forward. I am going to be going to Los Angeles in another week or so. And I cannot wait to share about the NFT uh, Expoverse that I'll be at talking about the metaverse and everything else because this is an evolving space and to keep up you have to be doing your research but again be kind to yourself be kind to others we're all connected we're all part of one world and um, we're on an exciting ride together talk to you later have a great one bye